Can we play board games without instructions? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You know that thing when somebody is explaining the rules of a game and you forget to pay attention and then you play the game without understanding the rules and then inexplicably always end up losing? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> JK, I am not as familiar with that scenario as you, but I have seen it firsthand many times. Mm -hmm. But what if not knowing the rules to the game was the whole point? What if not knowing the rules was the rules? <laughs> Sounds like my kind of game. It's time for Don't Tell Me How to Have Fun, Board Games Without Instructions. Okay, those two guys from YouTube I watched as a kid. In front of you are the pieces to a mystery board game. To help you figure out how to play that game, you have a few lifelines at your disposal. Won't need them. You can ask a yes or no question for one point. You can see a short video clip about the game for two points. That sounds informative. For three points, you can roll a die, and whatever number you roll is the number of official rules you get to pull out of a hat. Mm, could be up to six. I like that. And if you don't figure out the game by the end of the 10 minutes, you'll lose five points. You're going to start with 20, and you need to keep at least one to win. And with that, let us begin. We have some monkeys here. What do these monkeys do, Rhett? They have a spring-loaded Boo-doo! Yes. Boo-doo! Okay. Hint much. And you know what? This right here is a bag of turds. Yes, they throw turds it's because- monkeys slinging turds. A lot of people don't know that, but if you get a baby monkey as a pet, it's gonna throw dookie at you. It, well, at the zoo, I remember I went and saw the chimps. Back when I went to zoos. I don't know what I think about zoos, honestly, and I don't know what I'm supposed to think. Don't tell me. Oh, they uh, already did. I'm just, I know that I went to the zoo and a chimpanzee <laughs> flung dookie at me. Oh, a chimp? Hey, feel that, it feels nice. Chimp dookie. I don't think it's a dookie, oh. I think it's a coconut. Oh, but it's, it's rubbery. We've got three red, four red baskets, and we've got 25 yellow baskets, and we have these, Nice little placards here. These are identical in every way, shape, and form. And form. Um, see, it, it, it seems to me since they're identical, I don't know what this what the red line would be here for, but maybe if we put that over here, give me one of these and you take one. I mean, clearly you're trying to get the turds into the bucket, so I dropped one on the ground. Right, but something about- Here's your, all and your you turds the, you and their coconuts. You put the baskets, but why do you have so many yellows? What's the point of the red? Is maybe red to worth a different? I bet you at a certain, well, I bet you when you miss, you gotta replace the yellow with a red basket. Okay, explain how you came up with that. Cause you, cause you said that so confidently. When you miss it, you replace it with a red basket? Well, you've got yellow baskets and you put these here, Stevie. I'm explaining how this works. I'm this is here. Game. So. And, and then, you, so what I do is I, no. I put a handful of turd. Oh, and and I'm you're trying, trying to get it into mine and I'm trying to get I'm it into yours. I'm trying to get it into yours. Oh, that yeah, was close. Yeah, 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 and so I'm gonna go right into yours. Woo! Oh! No, but it, it bounced in. That, that doesn't counts. seem that legal. And then- So now I, you replace that with a red. I replace this with a red. I don't know why that would be the case. And but. you're trying to get all three, cause there's only, there's there's only four. four. That doesn't make any sense cause there could be I love how these turds don't roll. Oh, I went in your mug. Almost. I got it down here. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. So Stevie, how right are we? I think we have it. Are we missing something? You have something? some elements, but you don't have enough to consider correctness. But you do have a bunch of lifelines that you could deploy. Okay, 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 okay. Yes or no question is only one point. Well, yes or no? Well, ask me the yes or no question. I'll tell you if it's worthy. Red or red. The thing about, do you have to replace the yellow with the red? Uh, we know that's not true. Well then, don't ask it. Well, I, I didn't want to make you feel bad. Um, because you came up with it and you said, "I'm so confident." What's the what? What? About, let's go with the instructions. Let's watch a video. <laughs> let's watch a video. Two points. You want to watch a video? What? I don't think we're gonna learn anything, but I love videos. Yeah, that's, how, that's why we I got videos. into this business. That's what we do. Okay. <laughs> now those are green turds. Yeah, that's different. Oh, it says coconuts. Why did we get yes. the brown ones? So we've. Oh, oh! Did you? We learned something. Okay, so it's there's a, a red in a, in an arrangement. 
there's an arrangement and we're both going towards the same stack. It's basically Pong. It's a drinking game for children. Once you land in a red one, as I'll do right you now, you, you remove it. You remove it. Oh. oh gosh. Why are our coconuts brown? Yeah, their coconuts aren't ripe. Whoa! Close. Oh, I gotta go right here. Oh yes, okay, I did it! All right, so I hit the red you're one, red, you're in red. and then that leaves the yellow one, and now once I hit the yellow one, oh! it's removed, and the goal is to remove, fill up your baskets with coconuts, or turds, and remove them. Correct. Clear the other baskets before he clears my baskets. Correct. Is that a yes or no question? Uh, no, that's my guess. <laughs> yeah, it's wrong. Well, what else do we need? Well, you can roll a die oh, for three points okay, and then give get us that a, many yeah, give rules. Us give, give us, yeah. Oh, gosh. Let me roll, I'll feel lucky. Just one? Six! <laughs> I'm feeling so lucky! I mean, is there even more than six oh, instructions? Six rules. We're gonna Begin get. with the youngest, take turns shooting one cone kind of with a launcher, hold the launcher somewhere behind the line on your player board. All right, behind so that's the line. behind the line. So we're on the wrong side of the line. Read another okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot your coconut straight and true to collect them in the basket, but beware the monkey magic that might monkey with you. When a player successfully shoots a coconut into the cup and it doesn't bounce out, they take the cup and place it in a free spot on their board. So you start with these off, and then uh, this is, this is a. I think we're both shooting at the same thing and trying to clear out the. We're both shooting at the same thing. No, 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 no. You, this is my board, and I indicate. I if think I'm trying to get three. If a player takes a red cup, they may shoot one more time. Oh, you get okay. Of the first three spaces, once the first three spaces are filled. Yes. Stack additional cups into the pyramid. So as you successfully sink the coconut turds, the first player to complete a full pyramid wins the game. Ha! So there we have it. It's called coconuts. And this is how you do it. And we just did it. There's basically six steps. Well, no. Just <laughs> when I land in one of yours. Let's just say that stayed in. Hold on, but what do you mean? Where, where, where are mine to begin with? Once the first three spaces are filled, stack additional cups into a pyramid. Oh, a pyramid. Once the like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you this. You start once, once you do that, and then once you've made a pyramid. Oops. But what are you shooting at? Thirty seconds. That guy's uh, yours. Thing? That's yours, the main dude. question yours. that you need to win. Yeah, we don't have that yet. Is it? Are you shooting? You're, are you both shooting at the same thing? Are you both shooting at your each other's You wanna cups? ask me a yes, yes or no question? Yes. You are shooting at each other's cups. Incorrect. Yeah, you're shooting at the same thing like I told you, man. Okay, well they're all over here. And then this shouldn't be here, but it is because I'm not moving this. And time. We were so close. What are we missing? It, well, let me, sh I'll show you. I'll show you the video. Okay. You'll use your monkey to shoot coconuts into cups. Yeah, you're right next to them. If you make the shot, you keep the cup. The first player to collect six cups wins. Here's what it looks like for two players and how it looks for four players. Oh. So, it's a if your coconut lands in a cup and doesn't bounce out, you get the cup. Place it on a free space on your map. Once you've filled oh, the three spaces, shit. stack your cups to create a pyramid. First, you take turns and only shoot one coconut at a time unless you get a red cup. Red cups give you an extra shot. Okay. You can steal Don't cups Don't get too excited about players. it. The coconut you shoot lands in another player's cup. It's all yours. We would have gotten it if they had given us the right color coconuts. Where was the, well, where was the adult supervision here? I gotta say that the Mythical Crew had an added challenge. It's called Crazy Coconuts, but look at the box that we received. Well, read, the, read it. <laughs> Crazy Coconuts. Der Aktionagelabling, Splashbob, me. What is that? Swedish? I believe that's Deutsch. Yeah, that's German. But, um, you know, you tried, and, uh, and that isn't worth any points, unfortunately. Oh, we're too old for this. Gosh, yes, I'm so disappointed in us. Your time starts now. Spring-loaded board. Oh, check this out. It says booby trap, and it's got 
Numbers 54321, 54321, 54321. And we have three different colors. So I think that, yeah, watch yourself. It's like a freaking guillotine. So the booby goes in here. Yeah, yeah it's a and nipple pincher. I, th I think this is like, um, I think this is for a mammogram. This is an ancient mammogram machine. Look, they're the height of. There's nothing on the back. They're the height of each one of those spaces, right? Correct? If you were to take five of those red ones and stack them up, would they equal the, huh. the We got, that means you're on the yep. right track. Yes. Yes, right. keep going. And I think that you've got some that are five, right? First you, so you didn't wanna do this. No, because can you verify the distance? See, oh, and you see what happens there? When you stack these things this way, it, it like, Oh, that makes it starts more, that to makes slide. More, that it, makes more sense. And then what you would do is, if you added another one. So what is the point of that? Is it just a point system? See how it all moves down? So you're trying to be the person, the first person to get to, it's like the opposite of Tetris. See that? So place it flat, we have a top down shot. You don't have to show them. Okay, so if we took all these out, right? And it was just like, all right. Well, let's uh, just keep building and see what happens. Cause if I- Just put a bunch of them in there. See, when you when I pull this back and then, oh, you, do you, I wonder if you, do you hit it? Or do you gently do it? No, I don't think you would hit it. I, and, think, and what, I think you pull it. And you think you went. No, no, I think you're right. I think it's like this, cause this is what you do. I, I was just saying, is this, it's not even the same height. So that wouldn't even make sense, is it? Right, 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 no, it's not. So, what the goal is you're trying to be the first person, but why is this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five? Why isn't it just like one to 10 and you're trying to be the first person to get to 10? Is this a one player game? Is this, is this I wanna solitaire. ask, is this a solitary game? Make it that a yes or no I'm gonna question. ask, are there more than one player? Okay. Is this game more than one player? Yes. Okay, so that leads me to but believe. But how do you know that? So let's take all these out for a second, right? So if you because went first. these aren't, if you, you don't went, know who's placed anything. It doesn't matter. Like if you went first, you might be like, oh, I'm gonna do red. And I, and I pull it back, and, you know, so if, like, I would play, so I'm putting it in red. And now you would be like, you go next. But, you, but you did you take this thing and did you nope. smack it? It's, there's no smacking. Why is there no smack? Oh, I just stepped, up, stepped on a monkey turd. Yep. Let's just remove the smacking from our minds for a second. Okay. You could ask, is there smacking? But I don't think there is because it doesn't really make any sense for there to be smacking. So then you would go and you would try to balance that on top of the other thing. Oh, You're yes. not trying to go si to the side of it. Yes, and I bet you I can only touch the nipple. So once I get to these big nipples and then I'm like, yes, I've done something. Oh, see, you screwed it. See, but it seems like I'm cheating by You are cheating, these. you can't do that. You can only touch the, oh, oh you're bad. <laughs> Oh, this is hard. And let's just, let's- It's the opposite of Tetris. Let's ramp up the game to where it's like, we've been playing a while, we've been failing but a while. Why had we chosen any, what, what, like what is the point of what we've chosen? Well, that, we have to find that out. Oh, you know what? You can only play with reds until you get to the first five, and then you have to move to blues, and then the final round is yellows. I don't, I don't, uh, that doesn't ring true to me. Well then what's the point of the three sections? I think it's, you can win the round and then you keep going. So it's, but sense. I don't know how you win a round. I think we need a video because then we'll see the board. Yeah, I love, we love videos. That's what we do. Video. Do us again. Welcome back to Obscure Look at the Board box. Games. See this the is play? Booby Trap. To start, pull back the spring bar and randomly place all of the pieces all of the into pieces. the board. Oh, that helps a okay. lot. Randomly place all of the pieces. And they have to be up, whatever, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Random. Oh, and then you're- We're so random. And then you're pulling them out. Cause they have little nipples. Yes, we should. I feel stupid that we didn't figure that out. Yeah, yeah. Like was, you start with it this I way. I was about to. <laughs> and then. <laughs> okay, uh, and now what? Let's just see what happens if I pull one out. And you wanna see, and now it's you going- You lose points for every time that it moves. No, hold on. Well, see that didn't move. Okay, now you pull one. So the object of the game is I'm trying to not get it to move and when it does move, you get penalized. See so like this one? See that? I just I just lost some points, right? 
Did we do it? That was it. Did I explain it? Did I say it? Let's see how the video does it. Okay. Welcome back to Obscure Board Games. This is Booby Trap. To start, pull back the spring bar and randomly place all of the pieces into the board. On your turn, choose any piece in the board and try to remove it without moving the spring bar. Oh. The pieces are worth different amounts of points based on size. The small yellow pieces are worth one point, the medium blue worth two, and the large red pieces are worth three. Once you touch a piece, you must either commit to removing it or pass your turn. If you successfully remove a piece from the board, add it to your score pile. However, if you remove a piece and the spring moves more than one mark along the side of the board, you lose three points. Oh. Keep these pieces separate from your score pile and subtract the total from your final score. The game ends when there are as many pieces left in the board as there are players. The one with the most points when this happens is the winner. Booby trap. This is my kind of game. And I love the fact that like, see like when I Nipples. when I touched one, I was like, oh, that's that I can tell that's a good one. I've already committed to it, right? And oh, so, see, there you go. And and then, and then there's other ones that you touch see, and you're like, I think oh, that, no. See, that one doesn't move, so I get to keep that one. And then there's like, oh, this one, oh, this one's really tight, but, but you touched but it. I've touched it, so pass? I just pass. Okay, so then, oh, see. Great then, for a rainy day. <laughs> we have crafted an exclusive vinyl. We do this once a year over on the Mythical Society. This one is our epic rap battles collection, all three of our old school ones, Epic Rap Battle, Epic Rap Battle Manliness, and Epic Rap Battle Nerd vs. Geek, plus yeah. we did brand new remixes of all three of those. So that's six songs, six songs on this vinyl that you can only get by being a third degree member of the society. Join third degree quarterly or annual plan by June 30th to get this item included with your membership. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details. Do it. Your time starts now. We have big chicken. Uh, I think this is a this is teaching kids how to like make out with with birds in public. Actually, there's some skittle looking things here. Oh, and they each have something on the back. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green ones, Rhett. And oh, then there's there's a switch. Oh, there we go. Is it a chicken? Hold on, before you do that. <sighs> that was not a good one. Because. The green ones, this is a sick mouse. There's I think it's sick, when I'm about to make out with it, it makes noise. The sick mouse on this one. See, that didn't do Oh, anything. oh, oh, look, okay. So if you look inside the chicken's mouth, if you yeah. dare. The chicken. It's not a chicken. What is it then? It is a chicken, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, oh, no, is it a duck? I, th I thought it was a sea, sea bird. You, now listen, you haven't made out with enough chickens if you think this is a seabird. Okay. Because you know how seabirds, they do this type yeah, of thing. Yeah, big throats. I think that this is weight, weighted in here. So for instance, if I put all these in here, watch. Eventually, it's going to fall. Sounds like a chicken. It's about to fall. That's all I got. <laughs> I, have my, I have a dice. <laughs> Well, it look. It looks what like. What are you doing? Oh, you try to. I think this oh, is part of it. You try to get it out. Good. So reach in there, reach in there, and and pull out something. Oh, you're trying to make it where it. I don't it, want it to know. I don't want the seabird to know that I'm going in. That you're putting your arm down its throat. So what, oh, it, it burped. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh, oh, it won't let go! Okay, I got it. All right. Oh, I died. Are some good and some bad? I thought so, but then, the, the yellow ones are like a heart, intestines, and a liver. So they're, Organs. This is part of the chicken, and this is stuff the chicken ate, including a cell phone. It's not from the forties. Oh yeah, if you pull out, if you pull out part of the chicken, you kill it. Oh, if you're the one who pulls out the last yellow one, you 
did you, did you kill the chicken? It's called choke the chicken. Choking the chicken. Ha! <laughs> we got it. We didn't even need any Without help. Without any help. We need no help. Yes. It is not called choke the chicken. It's called the crazy chicken game, but let's take a look at how it's played. Help the crazy oh, chicken a little girl. by removing from his stomach Eat all that boy. the crazy Eat that boy. things yeah, he's that eating. Pass the crazy chicken, and young, each son. player takes a turn to remove one object he ate. But be careful! Don't take out his guts. Whoever removes the third gut is out of the game. That's exactly yes. what I said. Crazy chicken is my cousin. My Battery's not. Oh, they put a real chicken in there. And it ad. is a chicken. <laughs> Which well, that could be a chicken of the you sea. Know we don't know. Had to, we had to figure it could that be a chicken out. Chicken lives on the coast. It could be a coastal chicken, a seabird, if you will. You won. You won the game. Yes, we're uh, well, game masters. It's, you know, there's no prize. The prize is that you don't have to endure the punishment of being a sore loser and doing squats in Good Mythical More. So oh, that's oh, nice. We'll take it. Yeah. This is fun. Let's do this again. Do you want to take that home with you? It seems like you do. Uh. Well. Um. Oh. Okay. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. <sighs> no. You know what time it is. I'm Veronica and this is Adam, Brody, and Jill. And we're playing We're Still Good at Throwback's Axe House in Southport, North Carolina. And you're about to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ah! Southport, we're still good. <laughs> we're still good. Click the top link to watch us slice a banana by throwing playing cards into Mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. We brought all of our epic rap battles to vinyl. Join Mythical Society as a third degree quarterly or annual member by June 30th to be eligible to receive this collectible included with your membership. MythicalSociety.com.